Incoming 5,000 comments saying Chloe looks like a porn star. That is quite high up. What's high up? Camel toe tings. Like, you look like a fing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going to put in pants on. No, 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 we're not waiting. We're not wasting any more time. The chips are freezing. Chloe, I'm joking. I feel bad now. Chloe, come on. Chloe! You've upset me now. I haven't upset you at all, you little bitch. Now come on, sit down here and draw us a snare. Well, now you're going to be a tramp because you wear those fing trousers like five times a day. Um, that's. True. <laughs> I look for that in this. Well, eating this ain't gonna help. <laughs> you bitch. Hello. Wait, I'm so bad at intro. Just say hello, my name's Neil and get on with yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Right, We're just done, thank done. you. Okay, wait. You're putting too much pressure on me now. You're like, you're like, right, come on, okay, you're like, three, two, one. I'm okay. like, hi. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. Um, I am joined with Dominic Marcus, if you will. Dom vlogs. It's Dom vlogs. Dom vlogs in the room. We are here for VidCon. We are here in London. We're staying in a hotel. We um, have nothing to do, so we decided to order a sh ton of McDonald's and we're gonna do a mukbang. I'm sorry if the, the lighting is literally dreadful, but we're just gonna have to edit it. Edit it Pro, like put huge saturation and value, which is brightness and turn up. What? All right, so let's get to the first question, everybody. Are we crossing oh. legs? Oh, are we crossing legs? No, I am. Right, right let's unbox. It's like Christmas Day, isn't it? It's like Christmas Day. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, it doesn't taste as fizzy. <gasps> okay, don't do that. Right, so let's just go through what we got. That's my Mac Junior. <laughs> it's a little small. She gets a fucking Mac Junior. In normal town, a Big Mac with no gherkins. <gasps> so, I have a Mac Junior. <laughs> oh, I got a five chicken select meal, a large five chicken select meal. Right. And then we've got 20 nuggets, so that's why I got my Mac Junior. Every time I say Mac Junior, I'm Mac Junior. Stop that. Okay. Oh, the mozzarella dippers. Oh, oh my. my. mozzarella dippers as well. Oh. 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 McDonald's, you've got some explaining to do. Oh, they're stale. Probably not. They are. I'm not even joking. Stay <laughs> 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 in the hotel with Dom is a bad idea. <laughs> right, let's have a look at some questions. I basically got people to ask me some questions on Instagram. Right, and we're gonna go right down to the bottom of the questions. Oh, show you how many questions you get. Okay, you can't see that from here, but this is how many questions we have. You can't do shit. Yeah, I know, but you can see, see how many times I'm scrolling. Jesus you could just be Christ. faking scroll and then they would never know. Oh, I should have got a big one now. Mac Junior. Oh, you're reading it upside down. Stop that. You've got a Mac Junior shut up. <laughs> Talk about fake friends. Oh, hello. Hey, Elizabeth. Where to mm. start? Have okay. you got anything to say about fake friends? Yes. Go on for I do, it. in fact, that should be probably an option. Go on. If you have fake friends, ditch them. They are so yeah. bad for you, so bad for your health. I feel like- Doesn't matter if you're like, oh, I don't want to be alone at school. F them. Don't <laughs> actually them. Like you don't need them in your life. Like they are so bad on you. You just no. It's so such a Call toxic them off environment. And then deal with being alone because you cannot. Be, being alone is better than being around fake friends. You, you will know? never like find who you are or find like strength or independence if you're surrounding yourself with people who make you feel bad about yourself or like people who you know are chatting shit mm. behind your back but you just consider it normal. That's not normal. I mean, it is the normal for a lot of people, but it's not right. I, I can't really say anything much apart from like cut them off because I already I kind of just in school distanced myself from like anyone who I thought was like kind of negative mm. or anything and I, ended up I with, didn't I had two friends that I went around with in school like mainly two friends I had I had a few more but like mainly like me Hannah and Leah that was that was it in school have you like, had experiences with like fake friends like people trying shit behind your back oh definitely not necessarily about me but they're friends mm. you'd always do it oh I see it all the time and I it's see just people like, pretending to be best friends and then they'll slug each other just like what, like what what what's the incentive like live your life and focus on yourself instead of just you know Oh, I hate her skirt. It's so high. Or I hate her hair today. It's so great. Like, just why? You're meant to be mates. You're not meant to be fucking slagging each other off. You absolute dimwits. Don't talk shit about people in general, anyway. Um, are you a virgin? What? Yeah, I'm a virgin. <laughs> I'm a virgin. I don't make money myself for Christmas. Worst thing that's happened to you in school? Bullying, hands down. I was skying off all the time because I hated it. I figured you didn't want to go. I didn't tell my mum, but I was just skiving off. I told her in the end, but and then she realised it was serious, and then she realised I hated it. And people are just people, some people are shit. I've had food thrown at me mm. a few times, but the entirety of my school looks zoo animals, so I'm not surprised. It wasn't a personal thing. At, sometimes it was. Like hands down, bullying is one of the 
most. I it, it really made me hard to trust people and like yeah. scared of other people my age. It really fucked me up. But it's fine. If you're watching this and you've ever in any way bullied someone, fuck you. I actually feel bad for you for for feeling the need to do that. Exactly. Like, like you you have a life, going on in your head. You know, it? this is gonna affect you badly. When the person finally gets the guts to tell someone that, and that's the hardest thing to tell someone. Like, do you find it hard to tell? How long did were you bullied for up until you uh, I mean, I was, it was just the you know you're gay and like faggot and that lot since until like year nine when I did my and then my YouTube was like to buy subscribers. I used to laugh at that as a personal favourite, and then it just turned into like dumb vlogs everywhere I went. Even out of school when I was literally doing shopping for my family, like I would not get stopped. Like it wouldn't stop. DMs, like I stalk you at school, I'm just like, get a life. My 2019 persona is respect is at both ways. So if you treat me like shit, I'll treat you like shit. I just don't have the mental capacity to care. Like if someone wants to treat me like shit or talk shit about me, I won't even go up to the, I won't confront the person. How the f do they know? Do it. No. Celeb crush? Have you got a boyfriend or dating anyone? Me or you? Either. I don't. I'm extremely sorry. I recently went on a date for Valentine's, but... Mm, did you actually? Mm, didn't really work out. So you, you bullshit. No, I filmed it. What, what, you filmed a date? You yes. went on a date and filmed it? It's on my channel! What? I DIY the Valentine's! Sorry, Brenda. Uh, I mean, Penguin. How did we meet? Sarah in the city. <laughs> Basically, Dom, like, reached out to Kate by commenting on one of her videos, like, her boarding school video. I met Kate, and then at Sarah in the city, we met for the first time. And then at Sarah in the city, we met for the first time, innit? I was, like, walking around with Kate, because I'd already met Kate, and then I met you. He was really nice at first, and now. The internet is just so wild, though, isn't it? Around June last year was when I first found out that Kate existed. Mm. And like, look at where we were literally like one month later. It's mm. so, so mad. When people try and look in the future, like, to a year, they're like, oh, where are you gonna be in a year's time? A year ago, I didn't know you existed, and like, look at me now, like, I just would not have had a clue. Do you think everything happens for a reason? Definitely. Like, I think yeah. I met you guys for a reason because you're the guys who turned you when I'm upset. Through the homeschool process when I was like. That's the thing, so like. You guys helped me through that. Like, having good people around you, even if you don't speak to them 24 7, like, you knew you could turn to me, like, mm. so. Having good people in your life, whether that be your family or anyone, that's so No, I think every single time we meet, we get closer, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We get more memories. Right. We're gonna wake up with f***ing diarrhea. Are you both dating? I hope that means separately and not together. <laughs> Guys, people literally, you get the odd comment that says, Oh my god, I ship you two, and it's like, that is where we draw- oh. <laughs> That is where we draw the line. What's your favourite thing about making videos? This is weird. It depends on my mental state because sometimes the filming process, if I'm if I'm insecure and I have to film a video, like I, I just can't. I cannot do it. Or if I'm vlogging and I and I'm not in a good mental place, it's the thing with YouTube. It's my mental health can stop me from doing it. Mm. I mean, I think so the best thing about making you. videos though is that response yeah but this yeah, chipping yeah. up it's made, it's made like, my day like I, it makes me so happy like my thailand vlogs they turned out well like sometimes i'll have to pull through editing if i don't like it because i know it's going to cheer someone else up mm. but i will literally pull an all-nighter which is so tedious and like so annoying tiring it's it's you would not understand like it is actually dreadfully tiring i, I did it's not realize click space bar command yeah C. the second my editing software starts lagging out that is what i am Done, but then I'll keep, I'll have to keep going. It all then saves us, it's fine. Getting the response from you makes it so worth it. Like if a video is boring to edit, I will pull through for you, and then once I've got that response, it makes everything worth it, and um, that's why I keep doing it. How do you survive GCSEs? Just pull through, mm. honestly. Worst time, school, worst time, like, of my life, just. I'm not gonna lie, but all GCSEs are a mind test, unless you want to pursue that memory that subject. It is a memory test, isn't it? Next year you'll forget. Everything you've learned. What a waste anything. of time. What know. waste of time. And I, and I hate, I genuinely despise how parents are so traditional. And like, you've got to get an education, you've got to get a degree. Like, yeah. no, you don't. If your parents are telling you, like, or oh, focus on your education because that's the only way forward, I get it, it helps, but if they're making you feel like it's the only way forward, then that's incorrect. Oh, we're not having these, look. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's, sort your sh out. Not happy with this meal. Not happy at all. Great right one star. I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm pissed off now. What did you order? This. You had Oreo. 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 Manchester Tings. What the f is this? <laughs> <laughs> Black Junior. 
I've got some questions. What's your face ID? What's your face ID? Don't it's for fucking mums, but I left her in Manchester, so we can't get into my phone. Mm -hmm. That is so. <laughs> I'm creeped out. What if someone's under the bed? <laughs> Billy. Billy. <laughs> ah. Ah. Get some questions. YouTube crushes. Um. What do you do to get rid of stress? I have a nice bath. I. I did that the other night. Cry. Yeah, I saw. First time using a bath bomb. Well, which company was it from? If it's not from Lush. Good girl. Which one? It was called Twilight. Twilight. Good shower. It has like all those colours in the middle, doesn't it? Oh my god, I was in the bath for ages and I looked down, the water wasn't like blue or pink anymore, it's like on the, on the top, it was just purple water and it was glittery and I was like... But yeah, that's my story time. Hello? A levels, GGC, college stress. Um, education is so hard, like put pressure on students nowadays. Don't you Try think? and get what you can done, but just remember it's not the end of the world. If you, if you were to fail something, not the end of the world. At if, all. You, if you found something it's meant to be, like it, it, it is your life destination. It's all about perspective. Yeah. Perspective. Like, do you ever feel so trapped inside your own head? You go outside and feel a little bit better because your perspective is just so much bigger. That like, you realise not everything revolves around that one thing. Uh, spill some tea. Chloe, new. <laughs> what do you hate most about each other? I don't actually hate anything about you, apart from your. Apart from apart from my space ones. Yeah, probably space Anything ones. else? Go on. Is mental health important? Yes, of course it is. Mental health is mm. so important. Most important thing before anything. Because it's it's worse than health in a way. Put your own mental health before other people. Because if your mental health isn't right, you cannot get provide it your out. best yeah, health exactly. for other people. And schools are now starting to accept it more, which is good. But schools need to get their ass in gear and ch check it up and don't think that students are lying about anxiety when, oh. I definitely think that social media has a massive impact on people's yeah. me mental health because they look at girls who are like, you know, who, you know, they think are prettier than them uh, or boys who think they're, you know, some boys it can happen to. Yeah, I think everyone's got mental health and everyone has suffered, you know, anxiety at some point. You know, they're scared of something. You know, people go through traumatic experiences, which, which you know, they hide from people. Remember to always check up on your friends. You never know what is... One thing I will know. tell you, you never know what is going on in someone's head. No matter how happy or, like, whatever they are, yeah. or what they come across as yeah. online or whatever, <clears throat> even when someone seems fine, check up on them because you... You never know what's going on. The one thing I love to do is check up on all my friends because... He literally, I sometimes wake up and I'll have a text and a snapshot of you saying, Hi, I just want to say, like, have a great day and I just wanted to check up on you and make sure that you're doing well. Love you I a lot. And, and it makes my day because I'm just like, there's actually good people in the I world. have to check up on all my friends because I can't have them being upset because they're there for me, so I have to be there for them. But if they air me, f*** you. Joking, I'll just message you again the next day saying hi again. <laughs> Vegans. I think, yeah, go you, save the planet. I can't give up meat. If everyone was to actually go vegan, like obviously that would just be amazing, but I'm just, I'm, I have no excuse. I'm just choosing to not do it. I just don't connect with things like that. Like I, it just doesn't sink into my brain how much damage I could potentially be doing it. I don't, I've never like looked into the impact that just me alone eating meat, you know, like the statistics mm. of it. I, like, I've never looked into it, like, oh no, I think if I really wanted to, then I, I could do it. Sometimes it does dawn on me, like, sometimes I'll sit and I'll, I'll sit with a meal and I will realise that that used to be an actual animal because, I, and then, then I think all the other times that I've been eating meat, not once when I eat a meal do I recognise the fact that it was an animal. Like, I, I think of chicken as food. Chicken isn't food, it's an animal. Mate. Any goals for the future? Um, One thing I'll say is don't don't speak to people about what you're planning on doing or any upcoming things that you're going to do. Keep it to yourself. Why? Like tell people generally if you just like if you just want to have a bit of a chat about what you're thinking of doing, but like never say I am going to do this. I can't really put into words as to why, but just do like just keep things to yourself. People can use it against you. Have you passed your driving test yet? No, but I had my first driving lesson the other day. Not the other day, I mean yesterday actually. Good Look, it's shit. After that McDonald's. <laughs> Go where? Uh, uh, uh. Boop. 
The rest of my camera's literally gonna die, so I'm gonna have to go now. But I hope you enjoyed this last minute mukbang of pure cardboarded shit. No, um, we're, getting, we're getting a refund. If not, I'm going to McDonald's tomorrow and I'm saying sort your shit out. We are gonna go, and the next mukbang that we ever do is not gonna be McDonald's. It's gonna be Nando's for sure. I'd still, I'd still eat it all, I'm not gonna lie. Well, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to mine and Dom's channel. And leave me a comment down below of what you wanna see next. Um. Dom's channels live below and all my socials and his socials, yeah. Have fun. <laughs>